because we're fishing a river system, it's kind of like fishing a tide, tidal waters and salt water, because you've got current, so you're constantly, you're always moving. So because of that, I have the option, I could just fish straight up and down, and this jig the sting nose straight up and down, and as I'm doing that, I am moving with the current. So you're covering ground, and you're jigging in the strike zone. So it's very, very efficient way uh, to fish when you got some drift, like I do today. So, and all I'm doing, folks, is, is, is just bouncing these off the bottom. If you've never used uh, jigging spoons, you're just bouncing that sting nose just off the bottom. I'm actually letting it hit bottom, pause for a second, and then lifting it up. If you're fishing structure and you've got a lot of snags on the bottom, then quite simply, don't let your sting nose or any jigging spoon you're using, don't let it hit the bottom. What you do there is just reel up a bit and then just jig it off the bottom. 